Welcome to e-learning for work experience for class 4. I'm Jaren Elsa Abraham. In this video, we'll be learning about lesson number 9, PowerPoint introduction. First, let's see the learning objectives of this lesson. You'll be learning about PowerPoint. You'll be creating slides. You will learn how to format presentation and you will learn how to run a slideshow. PowerPoint PowerPoint is a presentation program developed by Microsoft. It allows you to create presentations. A PowerPoint presentation is also known as a slideshow. One page of your presentation is called slide and a group of pages on one topic is called presentation. Through presentations, you can communicate ideas, messages, and other information to others. Let's see how to start a PowerPoint program. To start a PowerPoint program, you have to click on Start to open the Start menu. Click on All Programs. A list of all installed apps appears on the left. Then. You have to click on Microsoft Office and then click on Microsoft PowerPoint. A PowerPoint window appears on your screen. There are several components displayed in the PowerPoint window. Let's see all of those. Title bar. Title bar shows the name of the displayed presentation. File tab. When you click on File tab, a backstage view appears. In backstage view, you will find a list of commands such as save, open, and print. Quick access toolbar. It displays quick access buttons to the save, undo, redo, and slideshow commands. Window control button. Use these buttons to minimize the program window, restore the window to full size, or close the window. Slide pane. It displays a large view of your current slide. You can enter text, graphics, and animation directly in the slide pane. Slide tab. It displays the thumbnail version of each slide shown in the slide pane. Notes pane. It displays the notes of, for the current slide. This is a text area that consists of remarks to share with your audience. Text placeholder. It allows you to type titles, body text, and bulleted list in slides. View buttons. They allow you to quickly change the way your presentation is displayed on the screen. Normal view, slide sort of view, reading view, and slideshow view are the four main views of PowerPoint. When you open a new presentation in PowerPoint, the program assumes that you will begin your slideshow with the title slide. Any text typed after a new slide display becomes the title slide text in the text title text placeholder. Now, this is a title slide. Let's see how to enter the text in the title slide. For that, you have to click on the title text placeholder box and type in your text. For example, I'm going to give it as introduction to computers. Next, you can click on the subtitle text placeholder and type in your subtitle text. Let's give, you can give in your name by, for example, students of class 4. Now, a PowerPoint presentation is a combination of many slides. After creating a title slide, 
Your next stop is to add new slide in the presentation. You can add new number of slides into the presentation as per the requirement. For that, you can click on Home tab, click on New Slide button. Slide number 2 appears in the presentation. To add text into slide number 2, again you can do the same steps as we did for slide number 1. You can click on the title text placeholder box and type in your text. For example, types of computers. And then you can click on the subtitle text placeholder and type in your text. A bullet appears beside your text. And when you press enter key, a new bullet appears in the next line. and so on. You can complete your remaining text as you did in the earlier steps. Now, if you want to format your presentation to make it more attractive and effective, you can use all these formatting options that is in the Home tab, like the font style, font size, bold, italic, underline, shadow for the text, or you can also change the font color. After creating the presentation, it must be saved for its future use. You can review and edit the presentation anytime in future once it is saved. The default extension for PowerPoint is .pptx. Slideshow view is used to give the presentation to a group of people. You can run a slideshow of your presentation on the computer screen. A slideshow displays one slide at a time using the entire screen. Now let me show you how to run a slideshow. Click on the first slide you want to view in the slideshow. Click on slideshow tab. Click on from beginning. You can also press F5 key for slideshow view. Once you click on that, the slide you selected fills your screen. If you want to exit, you can press on escape key on your keyboard. To display the next slide, click on next button or click anywhere on the current slide. The next text slide appears. To return to the previous slide, click on the back button or press backspace key from the keyboard. Once all your slides are done, you will reach the last one that is the end of slideshow. Then click on the screen to exit the slideshow. Let's see the learning outcomes of this lesson. You have learned how to create slides in PowerPoint. You have learned how to format a presentation, save a presentation and how to run a slideshow. Hope you have enjoyed the video and understood the concept of this lesson.